Hey folks, it's me again. Now, somebody watching the video challenged me to beat the first boss without shurikens. You know what? I'm gonna take you up on that challenge. That sounds like fun. So if I can't use shurikens, I'll just have to use something else. It could be done with the whip. It could be done with the whip. But I'm a little more creative than that. Oh, hey. Let's see if I remember this right. Oh, wait a minute. Darn. Forgot to equip the handy scanner. It's too bad. Let's check out that knife we got. Yeah, not much range. Stab's pretty good, though. Alright, so we're gonna sequence break a little bit. Because I want to. I also got some more coins and wait while you weren't looking. I don't have a problem with that. You shouldn't either. Alright, we're gonna stay clear of Catball. Catball is no good. Not for us. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. It's okay. Here's the switch. Um, can't really get out of here, but whatever. There's one switch, and... I believe the other switch is right down there. There we go. Alright. So we're trapped in here, so I'm just gonna warp us back to this place. And the knife is a lot more powerful than the whip. I can see this. It's got lame range, and I generally don't like using it. Surely I can think of something better to kill the serpents with. We're not gonna get that this update, no. This little bit of sequence breaking, we're gonna have to do a bit of trekking. Just a little bit. I'm wondering if anybody's guessed where I'm going. Because I'm not going to tell you. This, by the way, is the Temple of the Sun. It's pretty good, I guess. Actually, I'm glad he knocked me that way. Excellent. And that will be useful later on. Okay, I didn't screw up the jump. I didn't get knocked over by a bat. Not bad at all. There's this guy to worry about. All right. Aw, oh, jeez. Shurkin! Aw, oh, jeez. That's how you deal with sub-bosses, folks. It scared the crap out of me. What's he doing with his leg, anyway? Right, I can read this stuff. What the hell was he doing with his leg? Cavern of the Inferno. Prepared to die. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have time for the jibber-jabber. Welcome to the Inferno Cavern! Oh, shoot. I just remembered. Falling in lava? Not good at this point. You can get a lava-proof case. Heat-proof case, as it were. And that'll let you use your MSX in lava. But if I fall in the lava... Now, I won't be able to get out that easy, and I won't be able to warp out either. So this is dangerous. What's life without a little danger, eh? Eh? You like danger? Whoa. Okay, I like danger, but not that much. Let's see. I'm gonna head this way. Oh yeah. Let's play it safe. Deceased Crab plays it safe. Deceased Crab always wears protection in La Mulana. Alright. Antarctic Adventure is actually really powerful. We'll discover how later. We need several hundred coins worth of other stuff before it becomes powerful. Now, this is really risky, by the way. So my goal here is to get to the Grail Point. Oh, jeez. Let's see, if I recall... Yes, I can drop down... Ah! I should really switch to the whip or something, but, uh... 
I don't know, I kind of need the power. Okay! I think we actually made it to the Grail Point. Sequence breaking for fun and profit! Take a look at those coins. That is profit. Hey! I like this. Oh, thank goodness. Forget about read and die. I'm gonna read and live. This is area 5, by the way, so if you want to reach around the keyboard, you just press 5. But we're going back to 0, so I can run like a little baby chicken whip and save my game. I can't believe I didn't get killed. Yeah. Okay, folks, I'm going to close this update for now. Kind of short, but we'll have another one soon enough. Good night.